fancy colors, easy to put in your pocket. It looks innocent enough. These are really sneaky. Things you might not notice a student holding. You slip it in your pocket. Or hiding. So it just looks like something that's sitting in your computer. But this stash is all e-cigarettes or vapes collected at Jupiter High School during the last school year. Yes, even the ones that look like candy. This is 83% THC in this little pouch. And thumb drives and key fobs. Oh, it escalated fast. It went from I'm going to smoke this fruity product to I'm going to smoke stuff with tobacco in it to I'm going to smoke stuff with THC in it. Principal and Colleen Ionetti is working to educate staff, students, and parents about the dangers of vaping and how the habit can start early. It is happening at high school. It's happening at middle school. It's happening. We've even heard stories of elementary school. This photo shows vapes collected over just two months from sixth graders at one school. The latest data from the CDC shows vapes were the most common tobacco product used by middle and high school students, with about two million of them admitting to it. I think it's, why would you do it? And um, risk something bad happening to yourself. 12-year-old Brody Zittner says he's never vaped, but he is exposed to it at middle school. There, a lot of the time it was like, oh, there was someone vaping in the bathroom. The school bathroom is actually where it started for Principal Ionetti to get vapes off campus. We kind of went on lockdown. Every student needed to be escorted to the bathroom. We locked all of our bathrooms, and if you wanted to go to the bathroom, we had staff members literally walking kids to the bathroom. It was pretty radical, um, but it sent a really strong message really quickly because parents were like, hey, why are you doing this? Ionetti says the school also works with police to bust stores illegally selling vaping products to kids. They also give gift cards for turning in vapes. It's taken about three years, but Ionetti says she's seen a dramatic decline in vaping incidents on campus. As of just a few weeks ago, the Palm Beach County School District says there have been 20 incidents at Jupiter High related to vaping. Whereas in 2019, when vaping incidents weren't precisely tracked in local schools, Inetti says that number could have been well into the hundreds. The national trend shows a decline as well. According to the CDC in 2021, about 11% of high school students said they vaped, down from about 19% in 2020 and way lower than roughly 27% in 2019. It's unclear how much the pandemic and lockdown impacted those numbers, but no matter what, Inetti says now is not the time to let up, and she'll continue referring every kid caught vaping for mental health counseling. Well, when a student is doing something like that, first of all, we know it's really addictive, and it's usually an indicator of something else is happening. Like, why are you choosing to, to go in this direction? Reporting in Jupiter, Ashley Glass, WPTV News Channel 5.